Peru. Land of extremes, from stunning beauty and incredible wealth to unimaginable decay and squalor. Day-to-day -day life here reflects the bitter reality of life throughout Latin America. A people living with the atrocities of the past and the economic torment of the present while struggling to entrench democracy. The capital, Lima, has ballooned to eight million people as a result of unplanned urbanization. Thousands upon thousands of rural Peruvians flock to the city in search of streets paved with gold, only to find despair. Here in the poorest barrios of Lima, opportunity seems in short supply, hope and illusion. But there is something growing in the barrios of Lima, and lives are blossoming. Pilar has been able to expand her modest food stand and provide daily necessities for her children. Carmen has found a way to generate additional income for her family to keep her children in school. She's even managed to put by a modest savings. The stories of both women point to a growing phenomenon in the developing world, microfinance. Pilar and Carmen are clients of Opportunity International, a global leader in the area of microfinance. Opportunity International provides banking services and training to the entrepreneurial poor so they can work their way out of poverty. The organization lends money primarily to women who are willing to work hard and learn the skills to become successful. Herb and Erna Buller of Winnipeg have provided philanthropic funding to Opportunity International in Peru. When I first heard about it, I actually, I was shocked because you're going to loan money to poor people and then you're going to expect to get paid back and then you're charging interest on top of that. And then when we heard that the, uh, the repayment rate was about 99% and 83% of the um, clients were women, I mean, we were on board. And they're but, paying it back and they're paying with interest. So uh, it, I think it gives people a lot of dignity. It might seem odd at first, applying a business model to break the back of poverty among the world's poor. But handouts often fail. And this is a formula that works. And it's been working for 35 years. Opportunity now has 60,000 clients throughout Latin America and more than 800,000 clients in 29 countries globally. We're going for 2 million clients by 2010. We really want to unlock the potential of the poor because the DNA of an entrepreneur, whether it's in Peru or it's in Canada or in the U.S., is the same. They got the initiative, they've got the drive, and they've got the will, and they just need somebody to believe in them, to mentor them, and to show them how to get from where they are to where they might be. It's about opportunity and dignity and giving the poor a working chance. Change happens one woman at a time. <laughs>